What is this game? Let's have a look. You can do that. I think the only lower rank spell worth it for priests is smite. Because you can run Divine Fury and the smite will be a one second cast time at rank one and it's lower mana cost as well. Okay, we death the sheep. What is it? Shadow Priest Mage? Yeah. Cleaning the mage. This is nice. I, to be honest, I should be looking to clean the priest in these early globals. Like, cleaning the mage is okay, but if I can clean the, pr the priest instead, it's better. Because we ideally want to go on the priest. Okay, so jumping to get the dispels. We forced out the deep. We forced out silence. CS is gone. We're pretty healthy here. Like, they don't really have much in the way of instant CC. They'd have no way of getting a sheep on me. Uh, aside from the mage using snap. If the mage uses snap, he can deep me. Um, clones the mage. I don't think this clone is good. I think this clone is a, a rough one from him. This kind of disrupts the flow of our game a lot. Like if this clone here is on the priest, you can just run straight to the mage and fuck him up. But instead he clones the priest and uh, the mage and decides to go and priest, then he changes his mind, goes back to mage. The clone's effectively done nothing other than give them time back on deep freeze and CS, uh, which is not good for us at all. Because that's their like win condition. Priest obviously getting fear back as well, disarm back, uh, silence back. So that that five seconds is important you know he's trying to shoot me we're getting some good lining going positioning is awkward he probably gets it here okay we put the trinket in i don't hate that uh i think that maybe we could have Nah, i think so we went to get the deep freeze off and then we go we hang around and do a pom so i think as soon as we line that first sheet we need to be getting here uh, because right now he has no stops. We can't rely on him for stops either, right? Like, if he stops it, great, but we shouldn't rely on him. We have a box so we can use it. And then we, like, last minute react to the sheep cast. We should already be in a good position to deal with it. So then we have to use trinket. We get the block. Priest fears us. Mage leaves block voluntarily. Cast another sheep. Also doesn't get stopped. Um... Uh, but it's like, at the end of the day, it's our fault, right, with that initial positioning. They should never get that momentum. We can just cast to him and allow him to keep up time on the mage. We're still going to get the block. Um, and we're not going to have any of the pressure. So we still have survival instincts and trinket at this point. And, and instead, we'll have used divine him. So, Feral is going to innovate on me. He should get a restart. The game is pretty reset now. Pushing into the priest. Is this okay? Field 18 seconds. His is running out. Gonna be hard to get his field off. He has fear up. I'm not too sure about this push. I'm like denying him the fear, but Mage is obviously able to deep sheet me now. Priest trinkets and fears me. I think I don't think I should have pushed up so much here, but not sure what the option is really. Staying on the corner is rough too, right? Because if if I stay on the corner here. And Feral pushes onto the priest. Mage just comes across and CCs me. So the timings are a bit unfortunate here. I maybe should have tried to delay a little bit until his field came off. And mine came back up. And then we could have potentially outplayed the fear. Instead we get double feared. And I'm likely getting sheeped off this. Yeah. And I think he might just die here. He has his trinket available. So he can survive here. He should try and charge this priest cast, maybe. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just a late late charge. Into dead. So, again, Feral not really stopping stuff is the more direct reason. But there's definitely things that I can do to get ahead of this, right? And make sure that this, this situation doesn't actually occur. Uh, mainly like the initial positioning right on the sheep over here this one so here I think going for the dispel on this deep is not worth it so I need to be more mindful of that I need to be going directly here it's 
instead of like I'm trying to do too much instead of just making a safe play and trading out a cool lane. And we just lose all of all of our momentum for it because he evos now. Yeah, we get a restuff, but it's not worth it because we push in on the pre-sale. Like, I think there's no rush here, right? They have everything already up. We just wait like 10 seconds for the field. I have to be more mindful of that. Even if the priest doesn't get the sphere here, if this mage is good, I'm going to get deep sheep too. And then the game is, you know, is really bad. Like, the moment this priest gets opened on, this mage can deep sheep me. I'm on the outside of the box. Instead, he was just running. So I guess he was scared to be the target. I don't know. That was really weird from him. Um, but yeah, that's game over. What is the button you keep pressing that is swirly red button? Target party one, probably. With enough spell power and fast, low rank spell could be worth. No. The, the smite rank one is only worth it for killing totems if it's far away. This is the only situation where rank one smite is worth it. Or getting spell reflect potentially as well. Yeah, actually a good check. So yeah, the only the only time because the smite rank one damage is like fifty. The only time it's worth it is is for killing a totem if it's annoying to wand it. If you have divine um, divine fury, and the only other situation is getting a reflect off arena target macros. I have target arena one two three, and I have target party one two and target self. Rank one shadow of pain costs the same as max rank shadow of pain. That's the difference, Juggernaut. And if the warrior already has Shadow of Pain, then you can't reapply it with a rank one. It will say more powerful spell is active. This the the general thing that I go for is just penancing it. Because usually one tick of penance gets eaten by the reflect and then the other two do damage. So you don't lose all the value of the spell. Right, I'm gonna be I'll be two mins and then we're gonna play some deep Uh if you've got any other questions by the way, boys, hit me. This is a good time to talk about that kind of shit. Uh, I'm just gonna be over you one second.